What's up, guys? We're about to slam a tornado because we're on muscle memory with Matt Hardy. How are you? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Dude, I love that theme song so much. Where did it come from? Uh, it came from Monster Magnet. Originally, the story, I haven't told this a lot, but originally it was going to be a, a song for the Hardy Boys. Okay. But our music that we use, the, the Loaded theme, yeah. that became so popular, we used an AEW too. That became like so iconic, they didn't yeah. want to change the music. So whenever we split and Jeff was a babyface and I was a heel, they wanted to give me a, a different theme song and they gave me that. And at first, when I first heard it, I was like, oh, I, I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. And it damn sure grew on oh, me. Oh, yeah. Man, because it became amazing. <laughs> Dude, it's such a fire theme song. Yeah. And like, we're at Starcast right now. What's your favorite part of meeting fans? Uh, just, especially now being October 15th will be been doing this for 30 years wow i'll be i'll be three decades deep jesus but there, there's just so many people that you'll meet that were young and they'll have stories of yeah you were my childhood i hear that so much and i take it as the greatest compliment you know they'll say oh my god i got in so much trouble because you know my brother and i we did swantons and leg drops onto the the couch or onto yeah. the bed and we broke it and we got in trouble you know because we were trying to emulate what you guys yeah. were doing and just hearing that is just so rewarding you know, to know that you have it touched so many people's lives and, and inspired so many people. And a lot of people come through and, and say say really nice things, you know, That's especially amazing. stuff you've done in the past. So it's just, it's just a fun interaction. That's amazing. And, like, one of my first interactions with wrestling when I was, like, eight years old was actually, like, you versus Jeff at WrestleMania 25. Mm -hmm. And all I knew was, like, oh, did he, like, kill his dog and burn his house? Like, what the heck? Like, what was, like, the thoughts going into that storyline? Like, were you okay with doing or saying that you did all this stuff to Jeff? Uh, I... I as far as me being, as far as Jeff being historically more popular than me, yeah. and and me being jealous of that, I, I was totally down with that. And even when they did these accidents, I was cool with all that. I'll admit, I, I told Vince face to face whenever we did that, uh, you know, burn his house down. Yeah. Jeff's house accidentally burned down, yeah. and his dog did die in it, which yeah. was very tragic. Uh, but Vince had that idea of like pinning that on me, saying I was the one that did it. You know, it was just coincidence that it happened to happen during that time we were doing that program. And I said, I think this might be a little too much. Yeah, I mean, it might be jumping the like shark because, because I feel like people could believe, yes, Matt is jealous of Jeff, yeah. but would Matt legitimately burn down Jeff's house and like kill his dog? It was a little, a little much for me, but he wanted to do it. So, you know, being a, an employee that was going to go with the flow, I, I did it. Completely understandable. Yeah, when I first heard it, I was like, wow, this guy is, like, it's the first time I ever saw Matt Hardy before. I was like, wow, this dude's insanely horrible. Like, what the heck? Uh -huh. <laughs> Something that's really cool is that there's a song by Trippy Red called Matt Hardy. And, like, so what, cool. what was, like, the thoughts, like, when you saw that song? Did you know about it beforehand? Uh, I, I heard about it after he put it out. And, okay. and I thought it was super cool. And, uh there's been so much interaction between that song and me with like people on social media yeah. so it's been so cool man like is there any like celebrities that like you see out of nowhere it's like oh like they're really big hardy fans like oh thanks for like the appreciation guys like this really means a lot to me i, I mean there, there's a lot of guys that we've met over the years yeah. that had kind of like followed our career and, yeah. and done that that we'll run into every once in a while which is which is really cool you know so uh I, I, still at heart man i'm a, a little kid from a podunk town in uh, Central North Carolina, yeah. they just really had this huge dream of being a pro wrestler, and I was able to achieve that with my brother. So I just I feel very grateful every day. You have thirty years into like this business coming in October, like you just said. What was like your like if you could like come down to like a few moments? Like what was your favorite moment from the first decade, the second, and now going on the third? I mean, I feel like our, our biggest moment out of the first decade is probably going to be one of the tag team titles yeah. because that was like our initial goal. If yeah. we if we did that, we did everything we ever <laughs> wanted to do. But you know. Fortunately, we did that exponentially. You know, we did yeah, yeah. many, many times and many, many different promotions, which is very cool. So that was that was a big, a big moment there. Um, in that in that second decade, just when, whenever Jeff returned again, and we got to ride highs, the Hardy Boys, and then we both had like great singles pushes as well. When I was the ECW champion, he was the WWE champion. That was uh, a great time period for us there. Uh, following that, in the next decade, I would I would imagine that I would say it is the final deletion and oh, just yeah. the whole Broken Man Hardy stuff because I, I, I really bet on myself and I stepped outside my comfort zone and, and I stepped outside of the norm yeah. and, and tried something different to see if it would work. And, and also I tried to like be very smarter, uh, be, be much smarter about how I was taking bumps and how it was working. And like, you know, that old motto, they say, you know, work hard, but work smart. And that's what I was trying to do. I was doing something a lot more theatrical with Broken Man Hardy. So that, that is what stands out there. Definitely. And, like, seeing, like, all the great stars are coming out into, like, AEW, like yourself and Christian Cage. Is there anyone else that you want to see, like, come from, like, your generation into all league wrestling? Um, you hear this all the time. <laughs> but people would say, you know, if, if, it, if the uh, 
stars and planets align. You know, my brother comes back, everything's good. Yeah. I hear people say all the time, oh, my God, we'd love to see Edge come yeah. and do one last Hardy's versus Edge and Christian. That would be a pretty magical moment. Oh, definitely, definitely. And, like, your show's called Muscle Memory, so I want to talk a little bit about working out. Like, sure. you have, like, like, you like had this, like, incredible, like, weight loss and, like, body transformation. What went into that? Uh, whenever I've had the biggest weight losses, uh, typically I, I, I am really good at, at fasting. I, I eat healthy, I try and eat clean, but then I fast at night. Okay. Just because as you get older, as you would know, and your metabolism slows down, you just can't process, you know, all those calories. You can't pro- even if it's healthy calories, you know, it's just hard to process. So that, that fasting was a big issue for me, a big deal. It really changed the game. What was like, like the, like, was like the first like month or so? Like, was that like the hardest part of it? Did it eventually become easier? Yeah, I mean, once again, becoming more uh, similar with it or, or used to it, and, and your body becomes trained yeah. to get used to it as well. I mean, it's just you just got to stick with it. It's like anything else. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, like, as we wrap this up, uh, Matt Hardy, where can I find you on social media so they can, like, follow and, like, see everything that you're posting? You can find me pretty much across the board at Matt Hardy Brand. Twitter, Matt Hardy Brand. Facebook, Matt Hardy Brand. Instagram, Matt Hardy Brand. YouTube, Matt Hardy Brand. And also, every single Friday, I have a new podcast, which uh, we're actually, speaking of, 30 yeah. we're 30 episodes deep right now and it is the extreme life of matt hardy and it's a social tag it's matt hardy pod across the board absolutely amazing matt hardy thank you so much thanks man i appreciate thanks. it thanks enjoy our conversation we going up like a thousand i'm a flesh just like a muscle man malcolm uh, we going up like a thousand i'm a flesh just like a muscle man malcolm uh, when it just like one two three if you like the channel this will squeeze if you like the channel this will squeeze if you like the channel this will squeeze